Good morning, Oxbow Creek, and welcome back to once again the shortest week of the year. Just two days of school this week. It's hard to imagine, but that's the way it is. This. Hi, I'm Kate Nightingale, and I am a tutor with Reading Corps. Um, my job as a tutor is to help students become the best readers that they can be. Today, I brought one of my amazing students with me. This is Sunny. Um, when we read together, Sunny works very hard, and he has an amazing focus. I like that he doesn't focus on what he can't do. He always pushes himself to do better. When we read yesterday, how many words did you gain in one minute? Fifty. That's amazing! Oh my goodness. What is your favorite part about reading Core? The words. Excellent. Thanks, Sonny. The month of November, we've been looking at the idea of social competence. And this week is very appropriately the word gratitude. What a great word. And what a great week it is, because with Thanksgiving this Thursday, we're all going to be thankful and showing gratitude for everything that we have. There's so much to be thankful for. I'm thankful for the job that I have. I'm thankful for all 1,200 kids that work here. I'm thankful for the 150 adults that work here every day, too. I'm thankful that I have a family and that I have a house and that I live in a country that I do. Um, there's just unlimited reasons for you to be thankful and I hope your Thanksgiving break is a, a fantastic one. If you're traveling somewhere that it, it goes well and that you do so safely, that it, it doesn't pile up the snow, it doesn't look like it's going to, but that you really enjoy that five-day weekend. So we have school Monday, Tuesday, and then you're off Wednesday through Sunday. Along that theme of gratitude, I want to show a lot of gratitude already for what you've done with the food drive. We only have two days left and I know with today being the day you're watching announcements, that means only Tuesday left. So let's have one final push to get that uh, number up as high as we can. I know it's heating up between the classes who's going to bring the most food. Um, but um, we're, the point is we're going to gather a lot of food for people who need it. And they're going to express a lot of gratitude. Even though you'll never meet these people, uh, they're going to express a lot of gratitude for the food that you've given to them. So thank you for that. I have some students to feature today, as always, and I'm thankful for them. Come on up here, Sophia. She's one of our kindergartners in Ms. Collins' room, and it says here that Sophia has come into kindergarten ready to learn. Every day she comes in and immediately makes a choice that she believes will make her smarter. That choice might be writing her sight words, writing sentences, practicing her numbers. She does this all day long. She also encourages her friends to work on skills with her, and she has quite a following of friends. She has the drive to succeed and will be going far in life. Way to go, Sophia. Congratulations to you. Keep up the great work. Noelle is one of our second graders. And it says here, Noelle is a calm, steady force in Mr. Witty's class. She can always be counted on to do the right thing. Her quiet leadership in the way she works hard and always does her best acts as a great example for her classmates. We are fortunate to have her as part of the group. Congratulations to you. Keep up that great work. There you are. You're welcome. And Carnell. Come on over, Carnell, one of our fourth graders. He's one of those kids that does the right thing. From helping struggling kindergartners at the beginning of the year to doing tasks in the classroom without being asked, he does his best every day to make sure Oxbow Creek is a better place to learn and work. Mr. Shirva appreciates you. So do we. Congratulations, Carnell. Keep up the great work. Very fun. Say, last week I mentioned about our newest student who's coming, and that is Buddy, the service dog. I'm going to ask all teachers this week to make sure you watch a separate video that we have on YouTube for uh, learning how we're going to welcome Buddy here to Oxbow Creek. Because a week from now, November 28th, we're hoping that's Buddy's first day here. And again, I just reiterate, students, this is a dog who's working all day long, not a dog to play with. But we're really excited for Callie that she's going to be able to have her companion dog here with her at school. So make sure you get a chance to see that video. And if you want to, kids, go ahead and tell your parents about it. I think you're going to enjoy that video. I just looked at my calendar and I realized with the student leadership team that Tuesday is hat day and I have to decide between this, which I got from Mr. Brown a few years ago, or this one, which I seem to wear every single year. Maybe I'll uh, probably do this again on hat day, but I don't know. But anyway, Tuesday is hat day thanks to the student leadership team, the first of our spirit days throughout the year. It should be a lot of fun. 
Uh, students, I need to say you've done a great job down in the quiet zone of the cafeteria. Thank you for paying attention to that video that Ms. Cahalen put together. It's really improved down there. And also with the food board and knowing what the entrees are, knowing ahead of time what it is that you're going to um, ask to eat because that speeds up that line and it makes it better for absolutely everybody. So thank you for that. It's almost goodbye to Scooter City. Thanks to Mr. Mislaski and his crew of uh, Phi Ed teachers over there. over there. It's been a lot of fun. They did a lot of work. If you get a chance, make sure you thank him for all the work that he did and um, they did. Ms. Bihar, Ms. Dilbert, in setting that whole thing up. Ms. Jerky as well. It's really been fun. I believe those are the announcements. I have three jokes. You guys come on over here and join me. I like these jokes. I was looking at them ahead of time. I think you will as well. This one comes from Susu. Thank you, Susu, and 5ST. What kind of cookie likes a laugh, likes to laugh and draw? A snickerdoodle. <laughs> I like snickerdoodles. If you've never had one, you need to try it. And this is Leah from 4GA. What do you call a pile of cats? A meowton. <laughs> uh, a meowton, of course. And Kaylee from 2OB. What is a mad scientist's favorite kind of dog? Labs. Makes sense, the scientist and all. Those are the jokes, you guys. Everybody have a great week, and we'll see you back here after Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody.